I wonder if there are any other light gun games that work like this. I need to do some research. I need to see if there's anything else I can play like this. Because if there are others, I need to seek them out and get them running with virtual desktop in a giant cinema screen. I need that. I need that in my life. Oh, zombies! So many zombies! I wonder how much it would cost to rent out a cinema screen for an evening and set something like this up. Like, literally just sit there and play House of the Dead on a big cinema screen with a light gun. I guess I'd also need to, like, hire out some light gun tech. Ah, slippery, slimy, wormy buggers. Um, which probably wouldn't work on a cinema screen anyway. So... It's actually probably impossible. This is probably the only way to experience something like this. I flipping love VR, man. And I flipping love Virtual Desktop. Everyone go buy it. If you don't have Virtual Desktop, go buy it right now. This thing is sublime. More worms! I hate worms! So much! Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my lovely digital gaming room courtesy of Virtual Desktop, one of the very best and most essential apps for VR users. If you've got a Quest 2 or a Quest Pro, you should probably have a copy of Virtual Desktop. This thing is absolutely incredible. Now today's video is only going to be a short one and it's all thanks to Iron Bug VR. Now Iron Bug VR on Twitter showcased something pretty cool that you can do with virtual desktop regarding house of the dead and i thought that looks amazing i need to make a video about this so iron bug showed me how to do it it's a very simple setup and i'm here today to show you guys how cool this is just recently and kind of always to be honest i've banged on quite a bit about wanting house of the dead vr and it shocks me that we don't have a VR version of House of the Dead yet. We've got games that are light gun games which are clearly inspired by it. Things like Zombieland Headshot Fever. But we don't have House of the Dead VR. Now this isn't going to technically and completely scratch that itch for most people. This isn't the solution to the lack of House of the Dead VR. But it's pretty awesome and it comes pretty damn close. So using Virtual Desktop you can play House of the Dead in VR either in one of these little environments or in some other pretty cool environments, which I'll show you in a minute, using your Quest 2 or Pro controllers to shoot the screen like you're using a light gun. Okay, now we'll start in this little environment because it's probably the least impressive way to play this in VR with light guns or Quest controllers because it's on quite a small screen. So this screen in front of me now looks to be, I don't know, 32 inch maybe, something like that but you can play this on faux cinema screens. So inside Virtual Desktop, you've got personal cinemas with massive screens, and you can even play it using pass-through in your own room on a huge screen. Here we go. Let's go. Now, <laughs> something about playing House of the Dead with touch controllers in VR elevates the experience. Like playing it on a flat screen with a mouse and keyboard. It's, I don't know, it's just not as cool. Oh, I got him. I saved him. We still need like a full blown VR version. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but this is such a cool way to play it. Come on, come on. Because ah! the one thing this lacks is the 3D. You know, we're not getting the 3D of a VR House of the Dead, which is what would really elevate it to a completely different level. Oh, you weird little demon dog thing. Now, I think my only gripe with this mod and playing the game like this is when you have to insert a coin or press to continue, you have to use your keyboard. I guess you could rig that up to like a button on the floor or you could rig it up to something else that's a little bit easier to interact with. But basically, it's bound to... Ah! Bound to the numbers. Oh my god, on your keyboard. So I have to press 1 to continue, basically. I swear the arcade mode is much harder as well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm usually not that bad at House of the Dead, but I'm getting trashed when I'm playing it like this. Thank you. What you got for me? Oh, thank God for that. Cheers, beardy boy. Appreciate it. Worms. Hate these worms. No, 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 no. I also reload far too, uh, 
far too frequently. I'm a little bit of a nervous reloader in every game. Ah, there's monkeys on the chandeliers. I didn't go this way last time. This is new to me. I don't think I've ever completed the original House of the Dead. Like, when I was in arcades when I was younger, it was House of the Dead 2 and onwards. I remember 2 and 3, like, vividly. But 1? I don't really have any memory of it. I played a lot of Overkill on um, the Wii as well. Is it Overkill or Overdrive? I think it was Overkill. Oh, anything in these? Oh, there was. Monkey! Brilliant. So now I've died. I have to press 1 to continue. So I've got to lean in and tap that and away I go back into the game. So that's the only thing that's a little bit frustrating, but I guess it kind of mimics playing it on an actual arcade machine somewhat, because you would have to put a coin in and, you know, come out of it for a second. Right, I've just paused the game for just a moment because I want to show you some of the other environments that you can play Massive Light Gun House of the Dead in. Now, Personal Theatre is a favourite of mine. This is like a very rich person's cinema room that they've built in their house. Um, and that screen must be over 100 inches, like easily. It looks huge. My desktop looks absolutely massive. But this isn't the most ridiculous one. You can go to Auditorium. <laughs> now, now that looks like an actual cinema. I go to the cinema a lot. And like, size-wise, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate to a cinema screen and sitting about this close to said screen. This is what I'm going to continue to play House of the Dead on for the rest of this video because this is just ridiculous. But you do also have others. You've got um, an apartment in the evening. Again, really, really nice. You've got kind of a nice cityscape there. But you're playing it on kind of a, maybe a 30-inch monitor again. So not as impressive as the auditorium. And you can even do pass-through. Now, using pass-through is really, really cool if you've got the space to do it. Now, where I'm sitting, I'm quite close to that back wall, so I can't make this screen too big before it just feels kind of silly. I would need to go and reposition myself somewhere, maybe sit in the front room and fill that kind of back wall because I'm a bit further away from the, the TV or further away from that wall, and that, that would feel pretty amazing. It's just a great option to be able to play it in pass-through and it feel and look like you have this light gun house of the dead in your house. It's even better on Quest Pro because you've got the color pass through. Even though the color pass through isn't fantastic, I've forgotten how kind of grainy it is. It kind of paints in the colors. So we're not going to use that today, but it's cool. You could play House of the Dead on a screen in pass through with light guns, your Quest controllers. Right, so here I am now playing House of the Dead in my own personal cinema with light guns uh, which are of course my Quest Pro controllers and honestly this is like the only way to play the House of the Dead remake. I bought this on Steam not that long ago because I, I, I kind of fancied that classic House of the Dead action and playing it with a mouse just felt kind of wrong. Um, ah! I felt kind of dirty playing it like that. I remember I bought uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3 on uh, the original Xbox and I played them with a controller and I felt the same way back then. Like It just it doesn't feel right playing a light gun game without some kind of point and shoot mechanics. And this is this works really, really well if you've got the virtual desktop set up for it. Ah, no! Oh, and you don't mind that it's not in 3D. Because that's the one thing I'm not getting. I'm not getting any kind of 3D visual. So it isn't, I guess, comparable to a oh, no, 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 to a potential native House of the Dead VR experience. I still want that because I think having the full 3D and having it ah, as immersive as possible with haptics and stuff, it just feels like a missed opportunity for me. I can't believe that Sega uh, haven't wanted to put House of the Dead in VR yet. It just seems, ah, just seems crazy to me. Honestly, this mod that turns it into an arcade experience makes the game way harder, I swear to God. I'm taking so much damage, I'm having to continue constantly. Is this the boss fight now? Nearly, nearly, ah, honestly, I can't stop them. They just, they just get to me and murder me immediately. Hello, she looks fine. I bet you were. Oh, there's a monster behind you. Oh, okay, she's not okay now. She's probably dead. 
He smacked her to pieces. All right, shoot the weak point. Little pink heart bit. Shoot him in his nipple. He hates being shot in his nipple. Come on, come on. Oh, you cheeky sausage. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Honestly, massive shout out to uh, Iron Bug VR for uh, showing me that this is possible. It's so cool. I kind of don't need this hand. Because although you can shoot with both, and you can do like this kind of thing, <laughs> it actually makes it a bit harder, I think. It's easier to shoot with one, because that's how the game was built to be played. Um, you're not supposed to have two guns. And if you use both, it's pulling from the ammo pool of one gun, so you don't get any benefit, really. She's definitely dead. Come No, she's still alive! Stop, Kyrian. You should be dead! Something. A terrible blap. Okay, now she's dead. That's good. Sophie. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, I think we're going to leave it here. I didn't want this to be a long video. Just wanted to show you that this was possible and that it was very, very cool. And it, it is so, so cool. This is a game that's been sitting in my Steam library for a little while. And I don't think I would have played much of it at all. Because it does feel a bit strange with a mouse. But playing it like this on a massive digital cinema screen with effectively a light gun. You know, being able to point and click and shoot wherever you want freely. This is the way it should be played. If you have... Ah, oh, I didn't reload! If you've got a wireless VR headset, so a Quest, Quest Pro, Pico, and a, oh my god, I'm getting slapped, and a desktop PC, you, you need to own Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is an absolute game changer. It obviously allows you to play PC VR games wirelessly on your VR headset, as long as you've got the infrastructure at home for it to work well. Um, and it allows you to do things like this. So play your flat games in massive, immersive digital environments. Some work better than others. This is a particularly good example because of the light gun implementation. It's just a perfect candidate for this kind of thing. And any fan of uh, House of the Dead who's been crying out for a VR version, this is the closest thing we've got right now, I'd say. Apart from all the great VR light gun games that are native that are trying to kind of ape the House of the Dead experience. This is just so, so cool. Don't throw that person at me! How are you supposed to stop that? Threw an entire person at my face. Right, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you have, please do leave a like. Uh, Freddy Krueger's here. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon for another one. Honestly, come and check this out. This is sublime. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely loving it. This is how I'm going to play this game going forward. I can't see myself playing it on a flat screen. I do need to get good at it, though, because I am dying a lot. Um, yeah, need to get good as soon as possible.